Hey everyone, I am Marcy from Dragonfly Avenue. Uh, in this video, I'll be showing you how to create a scrolling-like animation in Canva. So let's get started. So uh, let me show you a preview of what we're trying to achieve. So you can see how like the text is kind of scrolling. So it's kind of creating like um, a marquee effect, which is super popular. Um, so th this is a cool way to make some like reels, TikToks, really anything um, video wise that you want to make um, using Canva. So I'll show you how to do that. I'm going to create a new page and I'm going to get some text. Grab this and let's do Canva tutorial. Um, you can type and write whatever text that you want. So uh, let's say it's Canva tutorial. Um, I like putting like a little dot uh, as a spacer and then I'm going to just copy and paste oops, and paste oh my God. and paste and paste and paste. So I'm going to do it a couple of times and I'm going to uh, click and hold and drag the cor the sides off of uh, the area. So I want it to spill out. <laughs> now let me, I'm going to adjust this a little bit so you can stylize this however you'd like. Uh, That was cool. Let's make this a little bit different. Okay. So you can change and play with the font as much as you'd like. Then I'm gonna go to uh, elements and grab the square. I'm gonna hold it and drag it. And then I'm also gonna have it spill over uh, the the board and I'm going to drag it and just so it fits into like around the text. Now if you don't want the border, technically you don't need it so um, you can eliminate that if you would like. But I like it so <laughs> we are going to keep it. <laughs> so then I'm going to just click and highlight both options, the, the box and the text and I'm going to group them together. And then I'm going to click in, uh, to make sure that the text is highlighted, and I'm going to click animate. And I'm going to look for the drift animation. So if you want it, um, so in this example, it's angled. So it's going to look a little bit less perfect because it is at an angle. Um, and it's not like the following it necessarily or following the line. If it's straight across, it's going to be a lot cleaner. But you are going to want to choose either left or right. Um, and you can make it as fast or as slow as you would like uh, based on the intensity. So um, just like that, you have the animation. I'm going to just uh, copy and paste it. I'm going to click. Uh, let's just do like a darker color and then I'm going to select the text, choose the animation, and then I'm going to go the opposite way. So now you can see let's, you know, kind of style this a little bit, make it a cool graphic. And then let's press play. Oh, oh. I don't know. it's gonna go all the way. So let's finish this. Okay, and now now you can see how it just scrolls across like a marquee, which is really cool. So that is how you do that. Let me move this again so you can kind of see it again. How cool is that? And you can pick and choose the direction. Um, hey. Um, and then if you do want it angled, you can just click.
click it or click the group and angle these as much as you'd like. So you can crisscross them, you know, whatever you kind of want in your design. Um, and you can tell like this one's not gonna be like as perfect because there's gonna be some like um, angle change, but uh, yeah, it's really fun, it's cool. Uh, I love marquee banners and yeah, now you can add them to social media posts or any kind of graphics. Um, so yeah, I hope this helps. Thanks so much.